Billy Denny writes, Billy Denny from Houston, Texas here. Love the show. It has become my morning ritual as I drink my first cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. I know there are a lot of ideas for Star Wars Episode 7, but what do you think of using the plot from one of the other comics where Luke Skywalker's severed hand is collected and used by the Sith to make a clone? Imagine a digitally young evil Luke playing by Mark Hamill as one of the main protagonists battling old Luke, even killing him, and the Luke, Han, and Leia offspring hunting him down. I think fans would love to see this happen. P.S. Get Kevin Smith on the show already. Okay, first of all, let me address the last part of that email because <laughs> you would be surprised how many emails I get. I, I get at least seven, eight, nine, ten emails a week of people saying, why don't you have Kevin Smith on your show sometime? Why not? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because Kevin Smith's banging on my door, begging me to be on my <laughs> show, and I'm just telling him no. Look, I, I've been on a radio show with Kevin, I think, twice, but he and I have never actually sat down had a conversation on her own ever. Right. So I don't know Kevin Smith. I don't. I would love to have him. So let me throw it out there, guys who keep yelling at me for not <laughs> allowing Kevin Smith to be on my show. If you know Kevin and you can talk him into coming in and being on, my sh on the show, we'd love to have him. I'm a huge guy. Clerks too. one of my top five all-time favorite comedies. So Bring him in. Okay, now let's get back to this Star Wars <laughs> thing. Um, it is a great story, the one, the one that you're mentioning. But here's the problem. The reason I want to address this issue is this. We keep hearing people say, oh, just digitally make him younger. Just digitally make him younger. Oh, look, they did that in that X-Men movie. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. Don't oh. forget Tron. Legacy. Yeah, Tron. Yeah. But it's almost impossible. Look, that one scene that people keep talking about in X-Men 3, when a younger Patrick Stewart and a younger Magneto are sitting down. You got to remember, this is what they were doing. Yes, we are here to talk about your daughter, Jean. That's about the extent of it. <laughs> yeah. And Jeff Bridges, yeah. the digitally youngified Jeff Bridges in Tron, was not that much more active. Doing this stuff is hard. Trust me, I, have, I come from a visual effects background. I used to work with a visual effects company. Um, it is hard. And when you did, the more motion everything, the harder and harder and harder it gets. Yeah. And to, to make a whole movie trying to make some guy look 45 years younger or 30 years younger, whatever, it, that is an expensive, long, hard, difficult project that you are just going to notice as an audience member at this point. Maybe in 10 years, the technology will be a little bit different. But I, just right now, it's just not practical, Jimmy. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. And I, I kept thinking of Tron Legacy. And I... I a lot of people had issues with how he looked. I didn't mind it. I thought it was an interesting. I thought it was interesting. Uh, it was too, interesting, yeah. cool, but yeah, you can't have a, an evil look, Luke Skywalker. Just kind of hello, how are yeah. you? <laughs> hello, how are you? I don't think it would work. And I, I, as much as I would love to see that, I, I don't. I just don't think we're there yet. No, in that Not first, quite. in that in that one Star Wars prequel. Where uh, the first time we see Count Doku have a lightsaber fight. Can we fight. just forget about that one, <laughs> please? <laughs> but when Seriously? he has his lightsaber fight, um, you know, that was not Christopher Lee. That was another guy doing the lightsaber fight, and they just digitally put his face on him. But as you sit as a film fan, you're watching that, it's like, okay, you can tell something's not right. When, yeah, when the yeah. body's turning and the face, Christopher Lee's face is just. <laughs> it, it, it just it something's off and you can just tell and that's what we'd be left with right now if they try to do something like this which is uh just not yet maybe in the future but not quite yet hey everyone if you like this video click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our amc movie news youtube channel it's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily amc movie talk show also make sure that you follow us on facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.